Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dion. I call this the Crazy Troll Nation of YouTube. And this is Chapstick Vanilla Mint Scented and Flavored. We're rotating through them. I apologize because the first video I did yesterday won't be uploaded till like after these videos because of how um, Snowbody's business looks were already scheduled. So it made sense for me to post that look, which was five after three and four, which was like another week from now. So I do apologize if that was a little disorienting or confusing the things I was saying in that video because as I was editing I'm like okay that doesn't make sense with where we are right now so Fenty Brow Pencil Fenty Primer Fenty Foundation Shade 335 I just woke up like 30 minutes ago so I'm just like I don't really know what's happening but I know we're about to do the face we have on two NYX retractable eyeliners we have golden olive on our lower lash line and we have gypsy blue on our upper and lower rims and so that is everything on our face right now i have everything set out what we're using today we are going to pair i'm having some thoughts about the pat mcgrath quince and so i'm going to save that for my monthly roundup for november so i'm not gonna i'm gonna try to remember not to say too much more but we're going to pair pat mcgrath celestial nirvana eyeshadow palette and this is a quint this is nude velour we want to pair that with lethal cosmetics y'all saw how my face just lit up this is the jolina palette we're going to do spotlight halo whatever and i do apologize for the lighting i'm thinking i should have closed um the blinds over there should i go do that really quick yeah i'm gonna go do that and now I need to sit here because that light's going to blind you or I could get up and turn those off too. I apologize, y'all. So I'm going to try not to move too much because I don't want to keep getting up. I need to get out of here. Um, so what we're going to... Oh, shoot. I almost forgot to prime my lid, y'all. <laughs> Fenty eyeshadow primer. It is so dark down here. Oh, my gosh. Um, I call this the Crazy Troll Nation at YouTube. The crazy just enjoying, if you do videos, enjoying being yourself, letting your authentic personality shine through and also enjoying the channels that you watch here on youtube whether or not you do videos the troll part is not caring too much about the beauty community standards you set the standard for yourself try not to feel like so excuse me i was reading a message that was coming through try not to feel like you need to use a certain brand or a certain tool or a certain technique use whatever you want to however you want to to get your makeup on in a way that you are satisfied with it because here at the crazy troll nation we are about self-acceptance and self-love embracing our natural features enhancing them if we want to but never feeling like we have to love yourself y'all for who you are and for how you look even without face paint on that's what the Crazy Troll Nation stands for. Being your authentic self, loving yourself, and knowing that you're okay, regardless of what other people may think. What you think about yourself is far more important than what other people may think about you. So please know that and please remember that. Thank you for being here. If you're new, I need to let you know I do curse on my channel sometimes because I, I curse sometimes. I do try to catch myself. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, so that is it for the intro, and I'm ha I have a feeling I'm not blending this properly because it is so dark down here. Like I can't. Well, I'm having trouble seeing like where I'm blending the primer and where I'm not, and because it has a tint to it, I can see it, but I can't tell if it's blended properly. So if I have like issues blending up around my brow bone or anywhere else. It's because of how the primer dried because I didn't blend it properly. So hopefully everything will turn out nice. Yes, this is to get ready with me. This is the look I'm wearing all day. I did take out the Milk Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Brace. We're also gonna put this on today to lock this in. So let's get into Jolina. And we're gonna take Serenity, this shade here, on the innermost and outermost corners and so y'all already know this is sounding like a halo look and I remember doing a halo type look before with this palette I don't remember how it turned out if I find it I'll pop it it seems to be more space over here if I find it in my phone I'll pop it over here for you to see um, I'm starting I, I figured out how to do halos the way I like them for my eye shape and so we're going to try to do that, but we are using a total of one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven shades. I probably counted wrong. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six shades. And it's only one of those on the lower lash line. So it's going to be five shades on the lid. I'm realizing what, what I'm having trouble doing is getting close to my lash line because I, I'm having trouble seeing down here. And you know what? I could use like a smaller brush. And my brush is... Y'all, I need to switch around so like all of my stuff is over there. All of my brushes dried that I washed except the two blush brushes. And so I am glad that I bought a third one. Um, because that's the one we'll be using today. And the reason that I am, well, the reason that I wash the blush brushes is because we're using a different blush every day. And I'm glad that I didn't wash the powder brushes because they wouldn't have dried because they're thicker. And so I'm glad that that's working out and that I do have enough brushes. And even though I still had enough eyeshadow brushes, dry ones to use, clean and dry ones to use, all the eyeshadow brushes I used for this nobody's business look five and the what palette was that we used shoot i don't even remember what palette was that that we used y'all it's just a blur um this is gonna bug me i have to look to check apologies oh the golden one with petite to chone that other um pat mcgrath quint and so that is that. So we're... It's going to be a long day. I think I had about four hours of sleep, but I woke up like halfway through. And I usually wake up every hour and a half or so anyway. And so it's going to be a long day. But I do have Mountain Dew. And I will get to take breaks. Today is just registration. And I think there might be um, something this evening, but not any classes. So today is going to be an easy day, which is good. And so I'm excited about that. And then tomorrow is when the fun starts. We're going to leave this like this. And I did manage to put my contact lens in yesterday. I'm looking down to see if this shape is kind of the same. I did manage yesterday to put my contact lenses in without my eyes tearing afterward. And so that was really nice. And so I really feel like I'm getting back to myself, my pre-COVID days when I was wearing makeup every day with my contact lenses and not glasses. And so I'm feeling good about that. Now we're going to take cold brew and we're going to put that just inside. These are the fancy number 230 brushes because these lethal shades pick up like they do not need a lot of help <laughs> to be picked up. And so, and also because we're doing multiple shadows this brush is less wide than the hourglass number three and so this helps me just do a more concentrated type area and i hope this turns out nice and so yes dawn <laughs> my eyeshadows won't match my shirt because you see all these colors so i'm going for it today and that's why i put like the green olive golden olive under here aqua blue on my inner rims, we're using a gray eyeliner for upper lash line. Y'all, I'm ro I am ro rotating, excuse me, even through my gel liners. So not only are we rotating blushes, we're rotating through our gel liners and also the eyeliners, which is how we have these two colors because I use, I was going to put gray underneath, but we used gray yesterday, which is probably like a week ago by the time you see this video. But I'm really like making it a point to rotate through my makeup and I feel really good about it. And I think this may be something, well, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to stick. I was going to say this may be something that encourages me to continue, like just using things intentionally, you know what I mean? But um, we'll, we'll see what happens. But I am feeling good about it. That's looking a little harsh from this, from this angle. This is looking harsh, but then over here, it's not. So I'm just, I don't know, we're going back to the first brush. Um, thank goodness for late checkout. The latest I can check out is 1230. So she did put me in for late checkout because I wanted to get this look done and still have time to um, pack up because I do need to switch rooms. We're going back into Serendipity, this outer corner shade, and we're just going to tap this right here because we, we do not have a typical transition brow bone shade. And so the center, we will probably just leave open. The way I found that I like halos for me is just a strip of light in the middle 
because when I have all of this bright and the darkness on both sides, I wasn't really liking it. And I didn't know why until when I did a halo slash spotlight eye with just the strip in the middle. And I'm like, this is what I need to do. And also if I bridge it, for me, I prefer it to be like a skin tone type shade and not an actual color. And so when you're trying new things, think about why do I not like this? And it just so happened that I did that look that time and I'm like, okay, this is what I need to keep doing. And I'm really hoping, shit, I don't have another brush out to, where's that other mirror? And we only have two liquid um, lipsticks that we haven't used yet from the ones that we have here with us. And so I'm making sure to rotate through those as well. So yeah, you know, I'm really being intentional with what I'm using and why. And I have a plate right here. Okay, there we go. I have a couple flakes here. Today when I was doing my inner rooms, a piece of the eyeliner pencil, this one, the tip of it, because it was brand new, it was pointed, it broke off. And I saw it on my lash line, um, my water line before it went into my eye. And so I was right before when I was saying, sometimes if the liner gets caught in my eyelashes, sometimes it falls down and it looks like little black marks on my face. And so that has been confirmed. Now we're going to take loyalty, really? This is a lot of shades. This shade here. <laughs> Y'all, we're going for all the colors because we're wearing all the colors. And so yes, my shirt will match my eyeshadow. Pick whatever color you want it to match because we're doing a lot. That, this is cute. I, I haven't used this palette in a long time and I really like this palette. I had ordered it um, a couple of years ago, year and a half ago. And I think it was a year ago and I ordered it with a lethal um, palette and I ordered their large mystery bag which was like 50% off and in the mystery bag was this palette so I was like <sighs> so I gave it away um, to Lynette I asked her if she wanted to send her a picture she was like oh that's pretty thank you <laughs> so I guess that's a yes she was like yeah <laughs> and so but that was really cool because this is a, a beautiful palette this is a beautiful palette. I've been having thoughts about my makeup collection um, and intentionally pairing palettes is, is, is showing me something, y'all. It really is. Now we're gonna move to the Pat McGrath Nude Allure and we're taking, I'm trying to read these darn shades. I believe this, yeah, we're gonna take Plum Eclipse, this shade here and then we're going to take Coral Kiss. So right now we're taking this one. And we are switching to a smaller brush. This is the Esom V27 because I wanted to just add some sparkle. We are tapping off. So that's going to go just on the inside of Loyalty, that purple. So that's going to go right there. So we're just adding a little something, but not much. Um, one thing I'm learning is that some shades look like other, I just felt the flick on my face. Some shades are looking like other shades. <laughs> I came too far in on that. So there's a huge chunk down here on, on this, um, what is this thing? Uh, face cloth. We're going to take the brush that had this second shade and we're going to feather, actually we're going to tap because I want to put some of that darkness back. We're going to go back to Jolena. That shade was Cold Brew, this shade right here. And we're tapping lightly. We're just gonna tap right here. And we are gonna go back with the purple as well. This side looks like it's okay. So I'm trying to just place the colors straight. And that's what I'm trying to do. Y'all let me know if it's working. And actually, I'm not going to go back with that purple because I can I can see it clearly, even though it's dark down here. When I look up here, I can see it. I'm not liking this blend right here, but I don't want to mess with it too much. We're going to take Cold Brew again, that first shade, this shade here. And maybe it's just these two tones, but I'm pretty sure I've used these two before together. 
that's what it is it's cold brew it's, it's too light next to this one so we're going to go back to i'm sorry serendip stuck my finger in it serendipity that was the outer corner that we just placed and no so we're going back to cold brew and we're going to just put some of that back here yeah we're going to flip over and actually we're going to wipe this side off because there's some at the tip and we're just going to lightly feather back and forth right here because i don't want to add more color okay there we go and also we're going to feather right here which i probably should be doing with the brush that had the purple on it which was loyalty okay 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 i'm not liking the blend up here and you know what Shit. i'm gonna need to grab a brush to um, just blend across my upper, <clears throat> um, what am I saying? We're going to just take this brush later just to use to just blend along the top without adding any other shadow. And now we're going to take this inner shade, Coral Kiss, and that's just going to go directly in the center. And... This just flaked. It's it's creamy, but if you scoop up too much, it's gonna flake. Like that piece right there, <laughs> these two flakes. That's what was on my um, hand towel down here. So we're gonna just put this right here. And we're gonna do the same thing on the side and then come back and quote unquote fix it. This is falling out on my face. So we're going to put that here. Um, even still that I've learned how to do a halo eye like I like it for my eye shape, it's still a process because we're going to just go back and forth at the top right here in the center and overlapping that purple shade just a little bit and that may give us the blend that we want I'm not sure so this is still the brush with coral kiss and now we're going to go back to the brush that had that purple on it and we're not adding more but we're going to just lightly feather that edge and this edge lightly feather this edge and this edge And now we're going to take the brush that had um, loyalty and we're going to just tap. That was the purple from Jolena. Actually, the tapping isn't working. This side looks like it's fine down here. This side is not. So we're just lightly feathering. We're not going to add more shadow on the brush. And actually, you know what? This is going to be it. So I had all sorts of stuff like under, under my eye. And since I will have oh, shit, my glasses on the read, um, since I have my contacts in, which helps me see distance, I think it'll it'll be okay. Not that I'm going to be reading a lot today. We're going to just take half a pump. Oh shoot, shoot! I didn't mean for that to happen. Okay, let's put this here and I tend to clean up as I go like even when I'm home like if it's messy around the nozzle I do tend to clean that up so that way when my makeup is done all I gotta do is just clean the brushes you know do the screenshot and all of that stuff so this is this is very angry still y'all and my concern is it's gonna look like a bruise for a long time as the skin heals this right here and that's what's been making my blush look funky in that area I put on too much foundation earlier I think I did like two and a half pumps and I could tell the difference because it was taking longer to like blend it out on my face and it was just like too much on my face and but you know what's done is done in my mustache area looking disrespectful I don't know. You know what I think it is? Because I have absolutely zero tan. And so whatever adds color to my face, it, it really shows up. Because lately my under eye, well not my under eye, my mustache 
you know, your husband just like, girl, excuse me. And I think it's just, um, yeah, just having zero to me. And so everything really shows up. We're going to take the fashion fairs. Do we want to do this now? No, we're going to go ahead and finish because I have a feeling I'm going to forget <laughs> my under eye. I just have that feeling. So we're going to take Narcissus, which is this shade. And that's why we put the um, golden olive under there. And I apologize that it looks like I'm looking off into space. And I did um, move around the tripod today under this one light that it's in front of. And I couldn't get any better lighting um, or any better visual <laughs> or to make it look like I'm looking at you versus, you know, way off somewhere else. And so I do apologize for that. So I'm just saying that this, I am aware and I did try and this was the best that I could do. I'm really hoping I can do videos in the room once I switch and, I, and my roommate comes. Because otherwise, I'll just be doing foundation during the day and then doing the eye look like after dinner late at night. The days are long. Uh, once the classes start, it's going to be from what well, is breakfast first. Um, but like everybody comes to breakfast. Like we, it's, it's a whole group thing. And so our day is going to be from like 730 until like 10 at night. Mm hmm. I have nothing to do. I, I know I said that, but what I didn't say is, is I brought a two liter. I did say that I think when I was packing to come, I brought a two liter to refill my 20 ounce bottle. Um, we're going to do eyeliner for upper lash line later. And now we're going to take the fashion fair set. It was truly tawny powder. <clears throat> oh, you know what I forgot to do? This brush with no shadow on it, small circular motions up here just to blend it without adding more shadow. I do think that looks better. And we're going to, just gonna do a small circular motion here. Cause I'm not liking how it's like a point right here, but I think maybe with um, the gel liner we're gonna put there, we can kind of camouflage that. Or, yeah, cause like how this is coming down to, and this is like a point right here. Actually I have a freckle right there. And so it kind of throws me off and I got freckles actually spotted here and there on my entire eyelid and my entire face but I think this looks a little better I want to I don't I want to take a smaller brush to blend right here but I don't want to take the time to pull another brush out shit oh you know what my case is still open the brush holder thing was still open so we're going to take this is an Eason brush as well this is a V31 and I'm thinking I didn't say what the other brushes were but actually I did the Fenty eye brushes that we used today and the Eason brushes. So I'm going back and forth just to blend. And I'm using a smaller brush. Ooh, that filled in that gap. So like how there's this space right here. I don't want to add shadow, but I just want to blend the shadow. And because of the shape of this brush, excuse me, that side didn't move. Hmm. This side looked like it moved. It's something with this side. <laughs> Even with the last two looks, I'm just like, uh. Then on this side, it did bring it up. But like right here, maybe I need to do small circular motions. We're going to keep moving because we, we got stuff to do. Um, Fashion Fair said it was truly tawny powder. You know what I noticed too? And I don't know if, if it's just because I'm rushing and I'm not 100% comfortable because I'm not at home. I'm realizing my videos are a little bit quicker. And I think I'm just aware of, I got stuff to do. <laughs> when I'm home, I'm just like chilling. You know what I mean? I'm just chilling and hanging out with y'all. But here, it's like, I, I got to be somewhere. I got to do something. I don't feel pressured. I don't feel anxious. I'm just so, I'm time conscious of, and not time conscious of the video, but time conscious of my commitment and like why I'm here and what I need to do. And so I hope all of that makes sense. <laughs> But it's pretty cool because when I was editing um, the two videos I did yesterday, which who knows when you'll see them, I didn't edit anything out at all. And they were 40 minutes. And before when I was editing out, doing the face part, it was still like 35, 40 minutes minus the powders. So I'm just like, okay, girl. So now we're going to take 
Ooh, mm, upper. Did I almost poke myself in the eye? Since we're rotating through our gel liners as well, and I thought I brought a purple and I didn't. This is Midnight Snack, which is a gray. And I really was thinking it was a purple, but I didn't bring a purple. Um, so we're going to take the matte brush to 210. I think I do want more of these, which I don't need them. If they have another like 30% off sale, I will get more because I really don't. I have four of them. I'm looking at the blend down here. Something caught my eye. This is the brush that had, um, I believe it had loyalty on it. Yeah, something with the blend right here just caught my eye. And you know what? I don't think people are going to notice because when I'm looking up, you can't see down there. Looking down, though, I can see like right here on my mobile lid. And then we're going to put on liner. I'm not going to be able to see it. So let's just get the liner on um, as much as I can see in the darkness down here. Um, what was I saying? I know it's my gel liner or something else. Oh, yeah, I was going to put macro violet, which is the purple, but I didn't bring it. <laughs> That orange, y'all, that we used. I'm loving it. So we're going to start corner, lower lash line. Bring that out and then... Why do I got like little black dots? <laughs> what is happening? I was going to say, did I do... <sighs> I was going to say, did I do my lower lash line? And I did... When I tell y'all I be out of it, like I really do. Cause how I just do it and I'm looking at it and wondering if I did it. <laughs> That's sleep deprivation for you. You look at something and you don't even know if it's really there. I love the double wing thing. At least it goes straight. Now let's see if we can get this side to go straight and not do a swoosh. So starting at the corner of the lower lash line. We did a swoosh. And I'm laughing because I was really trying not to and it still happened. There wasn't enough liner on the brush either. Oh shit. <sighs> Fuck. Ooh, okay. Ooh, we gotta make this one longer because uh, go straight troll, just go straight. Just go straight out. And this one is thicker. I like this one because it's straight and it's thin. This is thick. Fuck, and there ain't no way to fix it. So we're gonna make it longer because we're gonna just try to do a, a point. <laughs> I don't like how like right here, it looked like it's a little hook, but that's, you know, it's getting eaten up by my wrinkle. I probably shouldn't, but we're going to just run another line on top of that line. And what we're going to do. Oh, I stuck my finger in the liner. Y'all, oh my gosh. This is, is this the brush we use for lower lash lines? Yeah. This is the brush we use. So we're going to, we didn't add more shadow yet, but we're going to just press under here. And so we're going to bring, we need to go back in. <laughs> Narcissist. So we, we're just pressing in and we're going to press under that line. And it, I, I feel like it came down too far. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Damn it. Shit. We're going to take this thin brush and we're going to swipe Narcissist. And we're going to just fill in that gap that we got going on right there. And we're going to bring this further down right there. We're going to swipe in the narcissist again. And we're going to swipe down here. So we didn't intend to do this, but we're making it look intentional. I still don't like, like this little black peak right here. And I don't think narcissist is going to cover that. No, it's not dark enough to cover that. I don't see it down here because it's dark, but when I look up here, I can see it right here. Oh, wait a minute, did we do it? No. <laughs> Hashtag troll tried it. We're gonna take shit, that same brush that we used to blend up here, and we're just gonna feather down here. 
And hopefully this isn't adding more of any type of shadow under here because it's enough going on. <laughs> yes, I used to wear looks like this when I was working in the clinical field. I wasn't, my wings weren't out this far and that was un unintentional. We're gonna take the brush that had cold brew and we're gonna just place right here because there's a gap right here where there's no shadow. So we're just gonna kind of press and wiggle. Damn it, I'm using too many freaking brushes. We're taking this brush. Cool. Actually, no, that was serendipity. I got to go. I got to pack up so I can get out of here. Okay. Smaller brush to get into a small, tiny area. Okay. Tap back in lightly. There's that hole that's always there. It's an indentation in my skin. But when I press, it goes. But if I blend the hole, you can see the hole. So we're going to leave that there. And we're going to wipe this off on this washcloth that's down here. And we're just going to blend this, do all of the things. And we're going to put on the spray. I don't want the light to... serious the only mascara that we brought oh i like the look y'all i like the look does this look like five shades no it doesn't that's five shades that's how you do five shades when they just seamlessly like blend into each other i like this look i'm excited hair and palettes i'm thinking of melina what's up my troll pen um so that's how she rolls. She always pairs palettes. And she'll think of a look and whatever shade she wants, she'll go into whatever palette it is and get that shade. So our, our process is, is different and it's very enjoyable um, that the beauty, the beauty community brings us together. Our love of makeup brings us together. Our aesthetics are different. <laughs> our process, our creative process, or for me, my lack of creative process. But we found what works for us, you know what I mean? And it's enjoyable, like when we have chats about our differences and it works and there's no argument, there's no arguing. There's not even a need to agree to disagree. It's like, this works for you. I'm happy for you and I respect that, that you found what works, you know what I mean? And so I was thinking of her doing this look because I normally don't pair, but I was insistent we're gonna use all of these palettes that we brought with us. And so that required pairing. I think I just tapped down here and I can't see it because it's dark down here. We're gonna wipe off some uh, chapstick. I was gonna say Tillamook, but it wasn't. And there's quite a few people that I'm really cool with and we chat back and forth on a regular basis and we're so different and it is wonderful. You know, just respecting each other for who we are and what we like or what we don't like, you know what I mean? Um, these are the two lippies we have left that we haven't worn yet. And we still have two more looks to do. But as I said, we're rotating everything. We're gonna put on cold brew. This is the last lip liner I haven't used this is NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner because we only bought three of them. So we're really using our stuff. And so, I can't see down here. So I'm using my viewfinder like I used to always do before. And then I started trying to get out of the habit of doing. Um, but I can't see it down here, it's dark. And they do have this handheld mirror, but it's still dark down here. I don't want that light behind the blinding. And so it's very, What's the word? Refreshing. Being cool with people who their aesthetic is different, their vibe is different. Um, even their view on makeup is different. To have conversations and just embrace each other for who we are. 
And it also keeps things interesting too. And because we have those differences, you know, we learn from each other. You know what I mean? We encourage and motivate each other without even trying because our differences are interesting. I'm gonna leave this alone because, ooh, 35 minutes. And now we're gonna put on the lips. So which one are we gonna do? I'm not doing any, <clears throat> um, I already told y'all that for the other two videos. We're not doing any shorts um, or reels because of the, the tripod thing. Y'all know I want to do the dark, dark one, but we're going to do this one. Wait a minute, which one is the dark, dark one? This one is looking purple. This one is dark purple. This one is black cherry. Do we want to uh, We're going to do the black cherry because this is purple. This is kind of purplish, pinkish, and I just think that might be... I just want to break it up. So... Damn, y'all, I sprayed my face and I didn't even freaking do the blush bronzer. Y'all, see? Mm-mm. 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 Bronzer. <laughs> On top of the setting spray. <laughs> I'm looking at my face like my skin is looking good with this one little light behind the tripod. I'll go out in the hallway and see the mirror by the elevator and be like, oh, girl. <laughs> I hope, I hope it doesn't happen that way <laughs> when I leave the room and I'm like, Oof. I'm not going to do anything the rest of the face. I mean, as far as the bronzers, we're going to put that down. Y'all, I don't know. I was just having picked this at random with a melon bliss. This is bright. It's never anything to tap off. Oof. And this where my skin is angry, that has it just been looking crazy and putting blush on it just makes it look like is that the blush or is that like what's happening and I remember yesterday I'm like oh it looks like it's a patch but that's because my skin it's gonna take a while for that to heal and I'm hoping that it doesn't turn really dark because when I have any type of trauma to my skin or like if I pick a pimple or something after a while it turns dark and then it takes a long time for my skin to go back to its natural color. And so I'm hoping that this doesn't do that. And then if it does, I'll just start slapping concealer on it, which I haven't been doing. Yo, this blush is bright, but by the time we put the hourglass on it, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna take the only highlighter we brought, Golden Pyrite. I'm looking at the time thinking we're doing good and I'm like, oh shit, I forgot like the rest of the face. So I think we're gonna spray the face again. Um, no, I'm not because I put uh, mascara. I was gonna say that I put mascara on, yeah. Um, because I don't want my lashes to stick together. We're gonna take the brush with that we had used for the fashion fair, and now we're gonna take the hourglass radiant light, and we're gonna take first just go like this so we can get under the eye. And I'm not gonna put a lot today because when I go out and about. This really is radiant. And so I'm not gonna put any in this area here because if I start to sweat, it's gonna look shiny. So we're just doing the cheeks, blending in all of that. So it did tone it down some with a melon bliss and a bronzer. This is very monochromatic because this is the pink is, is playing into <laughs> with a melon bliss. I do wanna spray the face again, shit. So I kind of just did the outer part. <laughs> the other body. Okay, um, this is black cherry. We're gonna take black cherry. I gotta make sure I take a picture of all of this stuff. So I'm just gonna have, um, that spray gives a radiance too. I'm gonna put the black cherry on. What can I see though? No. Thank you if you're still here. I have not eaten breakfast yet. I've just been drinking some water so far. 
So if this starts to look janky, I will just wipe it off. Hmm. What? How did I, how was there like nothing right here? Did I really not do that? I thought I did. You know what? Cause I need to put more on the, on the wand cause it was there and then as I went back over it. <laughs> this is the only one that kind of does this that I remember off the top of my head right now. Where it will just like look like a patch. It will wipe off. This side has a peak that I didn't, I mean, well, it does have a peak, but I try to get it rounded because this side is rounded. And then I try and do a small peak. We're gonna leave it until we're gonna do the corner. I'm hoping I have enough time to at least wash my brushes. Cause then I can put them in the Sigma dry and shape thing. And yeah, I can go ahead and pack that stuff up. So this is the look that we have today. I believe we have on everything. Let me know what you think of this look. This is so exciting to me because I don't pair palettes. And I was looking at these two. I didn't hold them up together, did I? Let me get that light from in the back. This will be, but then I'm in the shadow. This will be our screenshot. for our thumbnail but look at these two palettes like I, you wouldn't think except for like this little corner which is where we were and we used this one and pulled in these two shades here so we used one two wait a minute i don't know don't start me lying as my mom would say yeah one two three four from here five and six um this was lower lash line so innermost and outermost corner inside the inner and outer corner inside of this on both sides and then this on the insides of this one and this in the center so that's what we did and we did the pop of color on the, low, on the lower lash line because i knew i was wearing this colorful shirt and so it matches but it ain't matchy matchy i'm glad that we did the lip that we did where did i put it because i do think the purple would have been just too I was looking at my lip like, what is that? It's my lip shape. Because <laughs> I do think this would have just been too purple. I don't know. So, but this is it, y'all. Thank you for being here. We are going to go. Um, let me know what you're thinking of these pairings, these two together. I do think it was a good pairing. And I am not liking how when I talk, it looks like it's nothing there, which is not. But when I put lipstick in those places, that's when it'll get on my teeth when I go towards the inside of my lip so that's the only thing with wearing a dark lipstick is I love the look you know what I need to do I need to stop talking and let it dry because this will stain it is a lip stain it's called cream lip stain liquid lipstick that's what it's called so really that's gonna be it for this video thank you for being here thank you for indulging me if you've made it this far thumbs up the video if you made it this far and you're not subscribed please do there's lots of information down below there's a lot of links some are affiliate there's a few that are not but the majority are if you're interested in thanks there's a button for that if you're interested in joining there's a link to see what the perks are for that yada 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 troll just go thank you for being here as always self-acceptance self-love that is the crazy troll nation way. Thank you and you will see me soon.